Hey, welcome. So in this video, I am going to show you the integration that real life, real project integration, which is working on the project. So whenever you are going to work on any project, right? You have completed your training and going to work on project. So basic projects, when we are working, we have to create integration for BI reports call. So what kind of integration we, uh, we can create our, our requirement is that for in this integration, this you can see that this integration is the basic implementation of the report call. So here in this integration, what we are going to do is that first, let me explain the way. So first we are, when this integration will be called, it will take some parameter values. It will take some request. So based on the request, it will run the BI report, it will call the BI report and it will return back the data. So once we will get the data from BI report call, the same data we will return back in the response. So where that kind of we can, uh, where we are using this, that kind of implementation, that kind of integration for that report. So suppose in your project, there is one VVCS page. Okay. In that VVCS page, if you want to see, show the data, the data is coming from the Fusion application. So you cannot directly run that integration or you cannot directly call, get the data from Fusion application. For getting the data from Fusion application or getting the data from Fusion table, you have to use report, BI report for that. First, you have to create that BI report and then based on that BI report, whatever data that BI report will return, the same data you will show in your VCS page. So for implementing that kind of implementations, that kind of solution, we required one BI report and we required the integration. We require the app driven integration so that that app driven integration get the, uh, get the request while calling this integration and return back the response, whatever response you want from the report. So here in this video, I am going to show you, I am going to explain you the integration. So while, how this integration is developed. So here you can see that that major part, whenever you will create integration, you have to use a scope, you have to handle the exception. So in this video, I have just implemented the basic, basic integration so that read the data from BI report and send the data to the uh, VVCS page or any whoever going to call the this integration, the same data we will return back in response. So for getting the request and returning back the response, we have to implement the rest endpoint. So here if you will see that the integration is started with the rest endpoint. So here in this integration, what we are going to do is that we are going to call one BI report. That report will return back the data. So that data will be BPA data, blanket purchase agreement data. So here while calling the BI report, I will return, I will get the some parameters. So that report is created based on parameters. So whatever parameter we will pass, it will return back the data based on the parameter. So for this specific report integration, our entry, our requirement was that the report always re will return always single record. This report cannot return back the multiple records. So because we are passing the data, we are passing the parameter to the report. So based on that parameter, it will return back the result. It will return back only one record or it can be written back zero record. So here based on that implementation, based on the logic we implemented, the, we created this integration. So let me explain the integration from a start. So here using this rest endpoint, we created, we configured the request and the response payload. So let me first show you this endpoint, this rest endpoint. So if you will see in this rest, rest endpoint, we have configured this endpoint as a post. Why we selected the post operation? Because we want to get some response from the user while calling this integration and want to return back some response. So here we selected the operation as post and we configure the request and the response payload by taking this here. And next, let me show you the request payload. So in request payload, if you will see, we provided the payload sample where we are providing two parameters. So based on this parameter, we are getting the data from BI reports. So in response, if you will see, we have configured some values. Okay, so here we have configured the response and in summary, you can see that it's completed. 
so based on this rest endpoint we are getting the request and we are returning back the response so how we are returning back the response we are returning back the response based on the mapper so here if you will see the endpoint name is that get bpa header and we have endpoint we have endpoint mapper for that map to get bpa header map to get bpa headers so we are returning back different different uh, response that's why we have three mapper three get bpa mapper over here because we are we are returning back the response for different different logic so here first we added the endpoint for getting the request and returning back the response then after if you will see then after we created one variable we created one variable so here you will see using this assign we created one variable and here if you will see what variable we created we created one variable for that av assign variable is report data using this variable we can identify do we get the data from report or not and another we created variable for report path where we store the report path so that we can map this value we map this variable while calling the report and also we created one variable temp in that variable we default assign that an a so here this variable will be used while we don't we don't get data from bi report we will return back an a and a in response so here we store NA in AV temp variable. So just close here. So now after creating the variable, initializing the variable, we created one scope. So we created one scope so that inside this scope, we will call the BI report, we will create, read the BI report data, we will create the, the file and be, then we will return back the data of whatever data will be available in that file. So here if you will see in the scope, we also handle the exception so if we got any exception the exception will be handled by this fault handler so in this fault handler if you will see we have created the fault handler for default so in default fault handler if we got any kind of issue what we done is that we provided the mapping for that endpoint so that it can return back the response so if we got any kind of exception while calling the report while creating the uh, creating the file while reading the report byte so here if you will see this is the response of that endpoint this is the response of the integration and in the response what we have map is that here you can see that we have map all the columns all the values with this av temp variable and we know that in this av temp variable we have n by a not available and a string so we have this map this value in for each and every endpoint it in every uh, column so that if we get any exception it will return back and a, and a values not available values for each and every columns here in a status if you will see what process message what we mention we mention just the reason of that exception reason of the error so here you can see that what value i am going to return back is that error while calling bpa header report and we are mentioning the reason this reason is coming from the fault handler here you can see that this is the our fault handler inside this fault handler we have the reason so we map this reason in the process message response so here this is the mapping for handling the exception so just come back to the main integration so here in this ex integration we added the scope for calling the bi report for reading the data from report and all so here if you will see first we added the soap endpoint for calling the bi report so you already know how you can configure the soap endpoint if you have not watched that video go and you can watch the previously created video okay so here if in this endpoint what we have done we are passing some values while calling this bi report so while calling this bi report what value we are passing we are passing the values you can see that we are passing the attribute format so attribute format defines that what kind of data format what kind of data in which format you want to receive so i want to receive the data in xml format so here i mentioned the attribute format as xml and later here if you'll see i pass the parameter name so as i discussed earlier in this report we have parameter so here we have added the value in this parameter 
so here you can say that in the parameter we have two items because we have two parameter in this report so here you can say that the two parameter whatever we are mapping here we can say that we have get bpa data had a request in the request we are getting two value two parameter that v bpa number and v organization code so these two value we are passing to the param uh, report as a parameter and we are returning back the results so here if you will see inside this parameter we have name that v bpa number and the value we are passing as reading from the request same as for second parameter so here we have name as a v org code and the value we are getting from the request and now we have the path of the report we have to pass the path of the report while calling the soap so here we have given the path so as in previously i have created variable as av report path and in this variable i have mentioned the report path and in last we provided the minus one value to the size of data chunk downloads so here using this mapping i am going to call the bi report while using soap services and now after this call it will return back the result in base 64 format so what i have done is that i have created one variable in that variable here you can see that in this variable i have given the name of this variable is that assign report reference assignment so as we know that we are returning we are getting the data from the bi report call in base 64 64 format so here using the value we using the predefined value we have this decode base 64 to reference using this function we are converting the base 64 code received in report uh, report uh, output and we are creating one reference file for that so here you can see that we provide we are using the decode base 64 to reference so here we have provided base 64 if you will see function so this function we used the decode base 64 to reference to convert the base 64 code and make a reference of the file so here we pass the report byte here you can see we pass the report byte of the soap call so here if you will see we have soap call here we get bi bpa header bi and here in this we have the report byte so we provided this report byte to this decode base 64 to reference okay so now here what we have done we got the data from this soap reference of uh, soap uh, soap call and the same data we stored in the assign variable by converting the data from base 64 and making the reference so here we have file reference of the data call, uh, receiving from the cbi report call so using the stage file with the read operation using the stage file with the read operation we are receiving we are making us file based on the data we received from the bi report and converted to the file reference so here you can see that for that we are going to specify the file reference and this is this the file reference is the variable name we created previously by the help of that function convert decode base 64 to file reference so here this is the, we have given the mapping to the file reference and then after we provided the structure of the report data so here you can see that i have uploaded the xxd file of the data report sample so here you can see the schema so here using this stage activity we read the data we created raised stage file in which we read the data that is coming from the bi report and now it's time to check the data check the report data so here using this if condition using this switch we are going to identify do you we have do we have any data in this stage file or not so here if you will see in this if condition i have given the name if single record found so as i previously discussed our requirement is to call the bi report and it is mandatory to return back only one record from that bi report so here i have checked if the report is available here you can see that i have checking using the av is report data so here i have updated the variable let me show you the variable 
so here you can see that after the reading the data using the state file i updated this variable so here if you will see in this update variable we up we updated the count of the report report data here you can see that i updated the count of the g1 g1 is nothing if you will see it is the response of the stage file read stage file we created here you can see that the count of the stage read report here we have a stage read report reference and in the stage read reference we have data set inside that data set we have g1 so g1 is the record so here i have get uh, using the count function i am calculating i am counting the how many ca record count we get from this read stage report reference so now after that after that i am checking here if this variable value it means the, if the count of the record is zero it means that our requirement is fine right and here in case if we have single record i have checked the condition that if we have the variable value is one it means we have only one record from this bi report so in this case what i have done is that in this case i have mapped the response I have mapped the response of this integration as map to get BPA header. You can see that here. Map get BPA header. This one get BPA header. And in this mapping, I have mapped all the values which is available in the stage, read stage file. So here you can see that in the response, response, all this value is mapped with the read stage report reference response here let me show you here response okay so let me explain here you can see that all the data we are receiving from this stage files the same g1 we have counted so whatever value we are receiving from the report same we have map in the response and some extra value we are providing what kind of extra value we are providing we are providing the process status as a success and in process message we are passing the successfully received the data from bi report so this is the successful case okay let me show you the other other case also so here if we don't have single record here if we fail this condition if we don't have single value one value in this report it means that we have two options in this case that can be we have more than one record in this stage file or we have zero record in this file so in ills case it means in otherwise i have again check if we have zero record so here if you will see i have checked the variable if that variable is stored zero it means that we don't have any data from that staging file from that report call it means that we didn't get any data based on that parameter so here if you will see in again I have mapped the response in the map response I use the temp variable in the temp variable again I have mapped the value null value so here you can see that in this av temp we have an a value and in process status I have mentioned error and why error in process message you can see that in process message I have mentioned that no record found because we don't have we have record count is zero for this in this case and else case if we don't have record count zero and if we don't have record count one it means that we have record count more than one so in this case again i am going to map the value with an a because if we get the more than one record this is also not following our requirement so here if you will see again i have mapped this an a by all this column with the all column and in process status i mentioned error in process message i mentioned that error more than one record found with the given parameter so here you can see that this is the integration where we call the bi report we get the data and the data we are returning back in response so this is the integration so if you like this video if you like this video helpful don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching